Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Through an Opaque Lens with me, Niall Murphy. And here I am coming at you on Tuesday, the 25th of August, 2020, year of the Lurgy, walking through my local woods. And for those of you who saw uh, yesterday's video, you will probably notice that I made it out. I didn't get lost in the end, I made it out. Well, I sort of did get lost, but I found my way to the road. And from then I found a way back to my car, so that's all right. Now I'm not going to get lost in these woods, I know these ones like the back of my hand. They're much easier not to get lost in as well, which helps a lot. So, though it's sunny, dappled sunshine, it's very windy, and so I thought maybe it would be a good thing to be sheltered by the trees, so that you can hear the wind in the distance on the leaves without it blowing all over the microphone, you know? Now, of course, what I'd like to talk about today, this episode I'm going to be calling um, creating a positive post lurgy take two put my teeth in creating a positive post lurgy future not easy to say a bit of a tongue twister that one right and the reason why i named it that is because uh there's something i kind of realized about how people are allowing themselves especially like people on social media especially a lot of people who think they're awake man right and shouting at everyone to wake up uh, they are allowing themselves to be robbed of their own agency and who are not taking responsibility for it, right? Now, one of the reasons why I, um, I'm not much on Facebook and, you know, I'm elusive on there now is I never actually really wanted to go back on there, to be honest. That uh, was the thing. I kind of gone on there to get my first load of uh, subscribers. I needed to promote this channel, right? And thanks to the pioneers who helped us out there. But I really didn't want to go back on there because I knew what would happen. I knew it would make me feel that way again, right? And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be wanting to put myself into a permanent state of low-level anxiety for anyone, you know? Just for their agendas. No, I'm sorry. I've got to protect myself from that. But what I have noticed over the last few days is since um, I have started doing this um, intermittent fasting thing that I've been on, as well as doing the um, one in every four day low carb diet, I have noticed um, a lot of things are changing for the better. My brain feels like it's functioning better as I'm walking around. I no longer feel like I'm as much in a fog. I've just done this kind of um, two or three mile circuit in my local countryside, right? Which I've been doing on my fasting days. I'm on a fasting day right now, a fasting day after a keto day. Basically, I have been depriving myself of carbohydrates for a long time now, right? Um, my reward is my midnight snack tomorrow. Tonight, sorry, yeah, my midnight snack tonight when I hit 30 hours since I've last eaten, you see? And that'll be all right. And I'm not too, doing too badly. I don't feel starving a little bit, but it's getting better every time I do it. But then I found out about so many other things. I found out about, I don't know whether it's pronounced autophagy or autophagy, when you start mopping up all the bad cells in your body, right? When you start recycling all the old broken cells, broken proteins, and all the toxic shit that lies down at the bottom, like the dregs, that never gets used, and it just builds up and accumulates over time, and then your health gets worse as you get older, right? And that's um, kind of uh, what I've noticed. I've, I've noticed in the last few days all that starting to reverse. As I said, my brain feels less foggy. I'm walking around the place less feeling like I'm dragging a, a sack of potatoes around me, especially when I go uphill. I don't feel as out of breath going uphill. I already noticed that um, my breathlessness has improved since I started this intermittent fasting, more so than it did when I gave up smoking earlier this year. All right? That's one thing I've noticed as well. And as well as that, my joints um, I feel I was getting arthritis in my fingers and my knees and my elbows and all that. Um, it feels like the pain from that and the discomfort and the stiffness from that is dying down, right? Now, this is great, and I'm loving this, man. And when I found out about all these other benefits that I haven't quite worked up to yet, but if I can incorporate fasting into my diet more and more as time goes on, there are other benefits I'm looking forward to. My first 48 hour fast is gonna um, get me to a point where the, uh, the autophagy will be much, much, much more than it is now. I'll be producing a lot more 
Um, growth hormone, well, I'm already producing it now, but if I got to the 48 hour fast, I'd be producing a lot more. And that would deal with the uh, joints and the arthritis and all that sort of stuff. And if I can get to my first 72 hour fast, well, stem cell regeneration. So, as I'm thinking about how positive all this stuff is, and as I'm getting more accustomed to it, and it's getting easier every day I do it, and I'm feeling the benefit of it, and you can see it, I mean, there's no doubt it's evidence, right? There's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm aware of that. What I have realized is that this is um, not um, something that's temporary, and this is not a fad. This is something I think that I'm gonna be incorporating into my life from now on, because, when I've reached my target weight, although I probably won't be on an alternative day fast anymore, I probably will have myself a day of low carb followed by a fasting day, you know, every week. And that will help me maintain my weight and keep off the effects of all that bad stuff. And then I might have a few days, occasionally, once every few months or whatever, where I decide to do the uh, autophagy thing again. Now. This will boost my immune system as well, because I'm keeping up my vitamins. If I feel like I need to, I'm having cups of salt water and um, apple cider vinegar. I'm taking vitamins and minerals as well. Um, so I am looking after my physical health and my, uh, my vitamins and my minerals and stuff like that. And I'm making sure to eat well, and I'm eating very well on my eating days. So all this is doing good, but it feels like it's more than just that, you see? Because it's changing the way I think, you know? You see, I joined a few positive dots today. I realized something. All those people who go on Facebook, who start freaking out and, and are in a constant state of low level distress and anxiety all of the time as they're freaking out about 5G towers, as they're freaking out about Bill Gates and his, um, vaccine empire that he wants to build to make everyone sick while eating a lot of carbs while comfort eating throughout the day while not doing enough exercise while on lockdown or not able to get out of their houses while just being too unfocused and then freaking out and shouting wake up to everyone else are making themselves so ill right that they're going to make themselves not only susceptible to getting the lurgy more likely to get it but they're going to make themselves more susceptible to the negative effects of Bill Gates's vaccine. So these people who are freaking out, being in this state of anxiety all the time, are doing Bill Gates's work already. They're robbing themselves of agency. They're robbing themselves of responsibility. Idiots. Just switch all that bloody social media off, right? Take a break from it all, you know? Maybe suspend your Facebook stuff. Try it you know then do what i'm doing maybe you know get a discipline to do what i'm doing do um you know um you don't have to do an alternative day fast but you can do what i'm doing by having an intermittent fasting day um and finding out about the effects of autophagy cell regeneration that goes on as a result of it and you can incorporate that into a health regime as you try to build up your immunity make yourself stronger and make yourself less likely um, to be affected by the virus then if there ever comes a time right where we are that unfortunate and they do decide that they're gonna tie us to a chair and stick a needle in us whether we want them to or not or if we find ourselves in a situation where despite the fact that they're not going to tie us down and it's still voluntary we're not allowed to travel but we want to travel so we'll, we'll comply grudgingly well I have decided after all what I've learned over the last few days, right? That if I am able to build up the discipline to get to the point where I'm able to fast long enough to produce stem cells, then I'm gonna be able to minimize the effects of anything they stuck in me, right? And that's what I say. You could be thinking, Oh no, they're conspiring against us. Ooh, the Illuminati. Ooh, Bill Gates. Ooh, eyes and pyramids. Ooh, all that. Or you could be thinking to yourself, right, what research can I do? What can I learn? How can I minimize the effects of this? Right? You could be thinking like that. How can I minimize the effects of this? 
if I have no choice but to do this, what can I do to maintain my health and my immune system as best I can so that um, I won't be as affected as I otherwise would be? And I always look for solutions, everyone. I always end up focusing on them. I'm sick of problems, and that's one of the reasons why I'm a, a chronic optimist, right? Now, believe me, if uh, time goes by, right? If time goes by, and uh, my optimism is proving to pay off, right? And you are being a, the devil's advocate to this optimism all the time because of some internal dialogue that you've got going on, right? Um, and you're, you're freaking out all the time and it's affecting your health, it's affecting your mind. And, um, and at some point in the future, uh, you're so paranoid and you're so freaked out you have to self-medicate by being out of your head <laughs> or whatever, you know? Just really do, do be careful. Remember that if you have agency and if you take responsibility and if you develop a positive narrative, now it could be a bullshit narrative, like when I say I decided that I am the Illuminati myself, right, for myself, it's bullshit, but I'll tell you what, it's good bullshit because it's a narrative that makes me feel good, right? And therefore I'm producing the right um, endogenous chemicals, right? The same as my optimism. I'm not deluded. I mean, I know that life can be shit. I know that bad things can happen. And I'm not one of these people who pretends this ship's not sinking. When things are bad, they are bad. And I know and I will admit that things are bad, but I nevertheless will be looking for solutions. I'll go into this real ingenuity mode to try to think, right, how can I solve this problem? And I never fucking give up. I, I'm like that when I, when I get going. But of course, sometimes it can be very easy to lose that momentum. And I have lost that momentum in time. And then to get that momentum back and then to maintain it and to build up more momentum is quite difficult, you see. But anything that's difficult, rewarding, challenging, but ultimately rewarding, right? If you get on a good, positive roll with all of that, then that's the thing to do. So... That's what I've um, got to say to you, everyone. Stop scrolling at all that stuff that makes you feel paranoid about how Bill Gates is going to kill you with his needles, thus you not having any needles put into you yet and probably not for the next six to 18 months, producing more adrenaline and cortisol and lots of other nasty, nasty anxiety-inducing chemicals in your body that are bringing your immune system down and making you more susceptible to more illnesses. Yeah all that carbs, right? Um, and not giving yourself enough time for yourselves to regenerate while you're just rinse repeating all of that all the time. Remember, Bill Gates doesn't need to make you feel sicker. You're already making yourself feel that way. And so, while you're shouting at me to wake up sheeple, right? I'm just going to say, what you need is a slap around the head and then just to be told to bugger off, you idiot, right? That's my attitude towards it all. I'm a grown up now, I'm a big boy now. I can work the shit out for myself, I would say then. Right, so uh, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, you know what, I think I'm gonna give, uh, I think I'm gonna have 48 hours off, so I shall be back in a couple of days. I decided now that I'm, I think I should, uh, just as I'm doing the intermittent fasting, I should also do the intermittent YouTube fast as well. So yes, two more days right so see you later alligator see you soon baboon if you like this content don't forget to like subscribe and share also check out our new merchandise stores where you can find t-shirts hoodies mugs and more links in the show notes below as well as the links to all our social media platforms including facebook twitter etc please help this channel grow your help will be appreciated